Okay, in this quick tutorial, I will show you how to manipulate the spacing between the bullet and the text that's to the right of the bullet. All right, now, in this particular um, exercise, you're going to notice that there are three groups, 12-point, 16-point, and 20-point. And these listings all have bullets in front of them, and the spacing is the same. So on a 12 point, it looks like the spacing is very, very, you know, it's, it, it's open, whereas the 20 point looks pretty good. But the bottom line is I need to move these bullets here in the 12 point setting closer to the text. And here's the best way to do that. First thing you want to do is select the text. And then you'll notice once the text is selected, and of course you're in the type tool, you can look at the control panel and you can see where the indent values are there. Or you can look in the paragraph dialog box and you can see the same indent values there. All right, and you'll notice that these values are the same on all three settings. It's a generic setting. So now what we want to do is we're going to change these values right here. The first line indent has a negative value and the left indent has a positive value. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first line indent, which is the negative value. And we're going to make that, we're going to highlight that, and we're going to make that a minus P6, okay? And I'm working with points and pikas. So when I make that a minus P6, you're going to notice that the bullets shot over to the right and it's closer to the text. And now, so that the whole body of text with the bullets aligns to the left, what I'm going to do now is take the left indent and just make that a positive P6, and then you'll notice that now it all moves over to the left. And it's this manipulation that you can do in all of your settings. Like I can do the same thing right here with the 16 point. Again, I highlight that. The first thing I want to do is move over the, the first line indent, all right? And that's the negative value. And I'll make that a minus one, all right? Which is a minus one pica understood. And then, of course, if, and you can see the bullet moved, the bullets moved over to the right, closer to the text. Now I want to move the whole body of text back to the left so it aligns to the left edge. So I want to make that positive value one pica. One pica. So we do that, and there you have it, and so on. And you can make it further. You can make it less. You can, you can do whatever you want to do with these indent settings, the, the actual indent, the left indent of the body of te text, and a minus value for the first line, all right? And you should always change this minus value first so that you can get an idea how close it's going to be to the text, and then you complement that with the positive value of the same uh, number, all right? So that's how you can move the bullets, and hopefully that helps.